Hey, what's up? So you had the wrong formula when you were doing theta over 360 is equal to s over r. It's supposed to be s over 2 pi r. So if you plugged in 5 and 1500, I forget what the radius was, you would have gotten um, s over 2 pi times 1500. Okay, so that's really the only thing you needed to do. Um, now, how to memorize this formula, though? Well, the way I have it memorized is I know s is a certain fraction of the circumference. Now, if you had 180 degrees, then what you're going to get is half of the circumference. So that should make sense. If you have a 180 degree angle, then what you get is half of whatever the circumference of a full circle would be. Um, also, if you had a 90 degree angle, then you only get one fourth. And if you put in 90 degrees here, then this would cancel down to one fourth. Okay, so that's how I've got this formula memorized. S is equal to a certain fraction of the circumference. But then you can also write this as S is equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Why? Because C is equal to 2 pi r. So both of those formulas are equal. Okay, so let's plug in to this version since we have the radius and we'll be able to find the circumference at the same time. So we'll just plug in S is equal to 5 over 360 times 2 pi times 1500. And you'll notice this is exactly what you would get if you multiplied both sides here by 2 pi times 1500. Right? Those would cancel out, and on this side you would get 2 pi times 1500 um, times the 5 over 360, which is exactly what we got over here.